Hello and welcome to this AOI Hub training video. In this session, I'm going to be showing you how to update your AOI Hub reporting template where there has been a new version of the CRS matrix file. I'm on the AOIHub.com website. If I go to the download page, this will show me what the latest version of the template is, the template version, and will also show me what the latest version of the CRS matrix file is. In this case, it's 2023.002, recently been updated for some changes in the Cayman Islands. The CRS matrix file is included in the download folder alongside the main reporting template, the mapping spreadsheet, and some other files. If I go to the bottom of the screen and then click to download, that will start downloading the zip folder, which contains the reporting template, the CRS matrix file, and the other files down to my computer. This is the contents of the download folder in my download section. And the CRS matrix file, let's just have a look at that. On the first worksheet in this file, it tells me the version. So I've got 2023.002 in this case. And there is a sheet for each of the years that's supported in AOI Hub. If I go to the 2022 sheet, we can see that we've got an updated set of information for the Cayman Islands, updated 31st of March 2023. And we also have a link to the source of that information. So this is the CRS matrix file that is going to determine the CRS reporting within my AOI template. This will determine which jurisdictions are reportable for the country that I've selected. If I go to the AOI hub reporting template that was in that download file, i.e. the latest version, in the reporting template, if I click on the AOI Hub logo that gives me the About box, I can see that the CRS matrix version is 2023.002, so it's up to date. So whenever you get a version downloaded from the website, it will be using the latest CRS matrix version. However, if I've already started work on a different version of the template, I won't necessarily want to copy all of that information into the new version, so instead I can update my existing template for the CRS matrix, so I can get the latest CRS matrix logic into my current template, and I'm going to show you how to do that now. The first thing I need to do is copy the latest CRS matrix file that I've got from my download folder, and copy that into the location where I'm working with my CRS reporting file. So I just right click and copy. I've then gone to the folder where I'm working with my AOI hub reporting template. And I'm going to overwrite the CRS matrix file I've got there. So that's going to update that with the latest version. If I then open my reporting template that I'm working on, if I click on the logo to look at the about, my CRS matrix version in here is still at 2023.001. If I click on the sync CRS matrix button, this is going to copy all of the information from the new version of the file into here. So it's copying from the version I just copied across into the same folder, and that's now complete. Note that that's now updated. I've now up to date with 2023.002. That's also reflected on the audit trail worksheet. So the audit trail is showing that this was updated from 001 to 002. And if I also look at some accounts data just to check, that it's reflecting that latest logic. I've got some account holders in here that are resident in Moldova, and that was a jurisdiction that's recently been added 
in the Cayman Islands updated list, which is reflected in our latest version of the matrix. So if I have a look here, I can see that this individual resident in Moldova has now got a tick to show that's a CRS reportable jurisdiction. That concludes this training video. We hope that you found that useful. If you have any questions about the CRS matrix file, how it works, please do get in contact with us.